Tom Clough and Bruce Austin from the Reading Lions Club. Um, can you guys just kind of talk about uh, what is Lions International? Sure. So it's an organization that was formed back in 1917 uh, in Chicago by a group of businessmen headed up by a fellow by the name of Melvin Jones. And uh, the mission is really around humanitarian services and for the betterment of uh, the communities. And that's how it was formed. So tell me a little bit about um, how, how long has Reading uh, had a club? Um, Reading's had a club since 1938, so what's that, about 77 years? Um, we actually have one of our members, Don Rotundi, has been in the club for about 55 years. So uh, we've been in the community for a long time. A number of the communities around Reading also have Lions Clubs, Wakefield, um, Wilmington, places like that. So each town typically has a Lions Club. Great, and f 55 years a member, that's, that's, uh, that's quite the tenure. How many members uh, makes up the club? So we have 36 members, and uh, we had some nice growth this year, new membership this year, and we continue to look for new members going forward as well. So total of 36 people right now. And how would someone go about uh, joining or, get, or you know, expressing their interest? Uh, the best way would be to contact uh, one of us, one of the, uh, the Lions, so we meet uh, a couple times a month. We meet on the first and third Tuesday of the month uh, at 6.30 down at Bertucci's right here in Reading. And then we have a board meeting on the fourth Tuesday of every month as well. So uh, certainly just coming down to a meeting at Bertucci's would, uh, would be a great way to, to start. Great. And could you talk a little bit more just about the, the mission overall of the club? Sure. Um, the primary focus of Lions is uh, back in, I think it was in the 30s, Helen Keller came to a Lions meeting and challenged the Lions to be what's called Knights of the Blind. So our primary focus is eye research. Um, we support Mass Lions Eye Research. We donate the, not just the Reading Lions Club, but all the Lions Clubs in Massachusetts, donate over a million dollars for research every year for That's that. Great. But in addition, we also support the local food pantry, and we do a number of other local uh, functions. We support a scholarship for a Reading High School student, as well as a number of other helping out folks in the community. Great. And can you talk a little bit more about those events that you do as an organization? Sure. So. Uh, we have fundraisers and we also do some community uh, type events. So for a fundraiser, for example, this coming Saturday, we have our 29th annual road race, which uh, is down at, starts at Burbank Ice Arena at nine o'clock. So anybody who would be interested in running, come on down, it's a 5K race uh, or a one mile walk if somebody chooses to do that. Uh, and is an example of a community service tomorrow evening we have a, uh, we, we uh, put on a dinner for seniors down at the senior center, and that occurs tomorrow night, and I think it's around five o'clock or so that, right. that that's held. So um, just a couple of examples. We also do a golf tournament in August. Uh, that's our, probably our biggest fundraiser that we have for the year. Sure. And a number of other events, casino bus trips, and many, many other events throughout the course of the year. So. It seems like there's a lot of uh, community service aspect and, and giving back to the community. Can you just talk a little bit more about the relationship the Lions has with the town of Reading? Sure. I, I mean, the, the Lions Club is what's called a service organization. We're not a social club. Some clubs uh, have more of a social function. We do social things amongst the members, but primarily it's service. Uh, the motto of Lions is we serve. Uh, so, for instance, we're looking to help those less fortunate than ourselves. And it's very important for us to work within the community. We have a number of great donors within the community to help us uh, donate to our charities and, and things of that nature. So it's kind of a symbiotic relationship between us and the town. And all Reading's clubs throughout the country and throughout the world, the, the Lions Club International has over a million uh, members, and it's the largest service club in the world. Great. And you mentioned, you mentioned Bertucci's before would be a good place to come down, but you know, what are the steps to becoming a member? Uh, really, just, just being interested in, in the organization, being interested in what it is that we represent. Uh, we're not asking people to serve on every single committee. You know, if somebody wants to serve on a committee that they find to be really uh, of interest to them, then, then that's fantastic. We'd, we welcome uh, any and all. That's great. And, and what else, if I haven't asked it, what else do you, do you guys want to, want to say about the Lions? Um, well, I think it's, uh, you know, we're made up of both men and women. Um, 
pr our primary focus, again, is to help those less fortunate than ourselves. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. There's, there's a lot of friendships, deep friendships within the club because of it. And it's, it's something that you can kind of sink your teeth into and, and make a small difference in people's lives, trying to make them a little bit better and, and also in your own community. So. And how did, you, how did the both of you get involved with the Lions? So for me, it was a couple of things. So my wife joined first, and um, she actually had a problem with uh, one of her eyes, and she ended up losing the sight in her eyes. So when she got uh, interested in an in organization, then the fact that they were so focused on, no pun intended, but so focused on um, eyesight and eye research, the line seemed to be a natural one. You know, for me personally, um, you know, I feel very blessed with my life, and I felt like it was a time for me to be able to give back uh, to others, to the community, as Bruce indicates, being able to help those maybe less fortunate. And so this has been a tremendous opportunity to do that with a lot of great people and a lot of great friendships along the way. Great, and Bruce, how about yourself? Um, well, actually that member that's been in for over 55 years, Don Rotundi, who has actually recruited a number of us into the club, uh, I got involved in a project with him and he sort of talked me into coming into the Lions. He was a great salesman for the cause, having been in it for so many years. So, uh, and I've I've been in close to uh, you know 15 years now. And it, like Tom says, it's been great to be able to give back um, and, and to and to make a contribution wherever you can. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Tom and Bruce, for coming down here and talking to us about the Lions Club.